So we're asked, how many liters of soda do we have for the party? And they give us all of this other information. And so what I encourage you to do is pause this video and think about which of this information you actually need to answer this first question, and then try to answer the question, how many liters of soda do we have for the party? So pause now. So let's look at this information. 20 people are coming to the party, but this doesn't help us let us know how many liters of soda we actually have. So let's we don't we can ignore this. We have purchased 5 bottles of soda for the party. Well, this seems useful, so we're going to have 5 bottles of soda. So that's 1 2 3 4 and 5 bottles of soda. So that's that's this piece of information right over here. We have purchased five bottles of soda for the party. If only we now knew how much soda is in each bottle. Now the other piece of information, the party will last for three hours. Well, this has nothing to do with how many liters of soda we have. Each bottle has two liters of soda. Now this is interesting. Each bottle has two liters of soda. So this is two liters, this is two liters, this is two liters, this is two liters. And that is two liters. So if we wanted to figure out the total number of liters of soda that we have, we have five bottles, five bottles, and each of them are two liters each. So we have five times two, and what is that equal to? Well, five times two is the same thing as two plus two plus two plus two plus two. You have five twos added together. So this is going to be equal to, let me write this down, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 5 times 2 is 10. We have 10 liters of soda for the party. And we were able to answer it without even looking at this last one. This last one tells us how many bottles of soda we had for the picnic last week, which doesn't seem related at all to our current party.